Hi, I'm Sadie and this is Chester and today we're going to be showing you how to help your horse recover after a tough ride or competition. After ride recovery is essential for a happy, healthy, and competitive horse. So here's what I do to help Chester recover after a run or a hard workout to keep him feeling and competing at his best. The very first thing I do when I hop off is loosen my cinches. That way he immediately gets a chance to breathe before I lead him back to wherever I'm going to untack. Typically for me, this will be my horse trailer, especially if we are at a competition. So I get that bit out of his mouth very gently, not letting it hit his teeth or anything, and then I get him tied up. The first piece of tack you need to get off is if your horse is wearing sports boots, these sports boots. These trap a lot of heat on their legs, especially after they have run and gotten their muscles really warm. So I like to get them off ASAP. The next thing we are going to get is the breast collar. You always want to get the breast collar first instead of the cinches. In case you were to shake and have the saddle slip, you don't want the breast collar still attached and the cinches undone. Now we are going to get the rest of the tack off, which would be my saddle pad and my saddle. And of course, treats are essential for your horse's recovery. Now that that is done and the tack is all off, I lead him to go spray off. I absolutely love to spray my horses off after any hard ride or any any run because I want to get all that sweat off and start dropping their body temperature. Horses can get really, really hot, so to prevent any sort of heat stroke or anything, it's important to rinse them off. But first, I do plug up a fan. I want constant airflow on him because his body will heat up the water really quick, and I think it is just absolutely essential to have a fan on them after a ride here i'm offering him just a tiny bit of water i don't want him gulping down a ton of water and making his stomach hurt some say that's a myth but for me i like to give maybe half of a bucket or a little less wait a minute and then see if he wants any more now i'm going to start spraying him down and i like to run the water until it runs cold like i said his body really heats it up so i want to make sure i don't trap any heat with that water and then i cold hose his legs dropping the temperature in there especially since he had sports boots on and really starting to get the blood flow back and the circulation back and I make sure to get his hocks as well because those are very important just like his knees and after this we are going to be putting some ice boots on them so the cold water will help the ice boots conduct and make his legs even colder so I grab out my ice vibe boots any ice boots will work these just have a little massage too that I love to really promote circulation for his legs so I get those ice packs on and then here I am putting on the massage boots and these will go for about 15 minutes really massaging that cold into his tendons and his ligaments and making sure there is no inflammation in there. A lot of competitive horses carry a lot of inflammation because we're asking them to do a lot. So it's important to prevent any inflammation as much as you can. Now we are going to put some ice on his hogs and these are pretty new to him. So he's quite the drama mama about them. But the hawks are a huge, huge joint on your horse and they absorb a lot of shock during your rides and especially if you're a barrel racer during those turns. So it's very important to get them cold as well and get the blood flowing in there. If you do not have hawk boots or any ice boots, just cold hosing their legs for about 15 minutes will also do the job or using fly boots full of ice or putting their legs in buckets of ice water that is all great for their circulation and to decrease inflammation. Now I'm going to take the ice boots off and this is the best opportunity you have to feel to see if there is any part of your horse's leg that is carrying more heat. Your horse's leg should be completely even and chilly if there is one spot that is randomly warm or a lot hotter than the other parts of their leg. This will definitely be something to pay attention to so here I am really feeling around feeling for heat any abnormalities or anything that might be around and comparing them to each other to make sure he does not have any sort of heat in there 
Heat can be an indicator of an injury, such as a tendon injury, and if it's around the hoof, it can be an indicator of an abscess. Now we are going to pick his feet to make sure he did not get any rocks or debris during our ride or run and to get a good look at them. Once I'm done picking them out, I will spray Spurs Big Fix in there because another part of a happy, healthy horse is healthy feet. Their feet are so incredibly important, so it's very important to make sure they don't have an abscess that they have no thrush or any a sort of fungus in there and that there's nothing that has damaged the sole of their hoof that is why i'm looking in here and the first big fix is going to prevent any fungus from being able to grow and make him uncomfortable once i was done with that we moved on to some hoof moisturizer especially where we live it is so so hot it's like 105 degrees so i want to make sure his hoofs are really moisturized so this prevents cracking and again goes along with having a happy healthy horse with some happy healthy feet so i cannot iterate enough how important their feet are so i definitely prioritize their care here he is showing off his new nail polish it looks so so good this will make sure his feet do not crack or anything i offer him water again before i feel of him when i feel of him and i know he is dry and he feels cool the best places to feel to feel if your horse has cooled down is under their legs in their chest since he was cool and dry, I undo those cross ties and get him standing in his stall where he goes right under another fan. Now we move on to hydration and electrolytes. Hydration is so, is so important. In a horse, you want to make sure they do not get dehydrated because then they could cramp and tie up. They could colic all sorts of things so my favorite thing to do to make sure they're drinking is to make a mash you can make a mash out of a lot of things my favorite for after exercise is shredded alfalfa it is recommended not to feed grain until several hours after hard work although you could make a mash out of grain as well and we are going to put some electrolytes in here you could also give your horse a tube of electrolytes after a run or a workout i also absolutely recommend and love that but today we are doing one scoop of powdered electrolytes and there is our base of our mash now to fill it up with some water and I fill it up with a lot of water this is how you're going to make sure they are getting some good water intake especially since Chester did not drink after our ride I want to make sure he is getting plenty of hydration and I make sure all of the alfalfa is soaked and submerged so I give it a minute and then it is time to give it to the king Horses often see these as a treat, so it's such a good way to get a little extra water in them. You hear that? He loves those and it is a great way to make sure he is getting enough water and there are electrolytes in there to replenish anything he sweat off during a hard workout or I love to do this after he runs as well. Chester absolutely devoured this mash. You can fill them all the way up with water if you want. Your horse should drink the whole thing or at least snack on it for a long time. So you're gonna make sure they are intaking all of this water and he is looking just so, so cute with his green nose and he got it all over his face. So now I'm having to take a sponge and get that off. This is also getting some water on his face where he maybe got a little sweaty. He does really sweat around where the bridle goes. So this is a great way to get that off rather than spraying them in the face. And now I let him go outside. Obviously his workout wasn't too hard or I recovered him just so good that he bounced back that fast to go run out in the pasture. I love to turn them out to go graze. Like I said, I do not give them grain right after or for a while after a hard workout, but I do love for them to go around and graze, get something on their stomach and really stretch out their legs. Walking is amazing for them so they do not get sore. If they are thrown in a stall to just stand after a hard workout, then they may experience some leg soreness. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a little something. Make sure you subscribe so I can see you again very soon. Bye.